A lot of our work is, you know, it's pretty emotionally charged if you're doing something like that, that you're emotionally invested in. It's a website that uh, connects artists with charities. We create short risograph print runs. We sell them for £10 a piece and 100% of the profit goes to the charity that's chosen for that print run. How Theresa Press works is I set up the, the website and branded it. It's not just me that runs it. I'll produce one print normally for each run and then other people uh, devote their time to create work. It's pretty amazing to get to put my work up next to other people's. I'm always pretty obsessed with moving on to the next idea. I think that's pretty much what we have to do in our line of work anyway, but just by the time you're coming to terms with something you really like or what you're working on, you kind of got to give it over. <laughs>I find this quite hard to talk about. Uh, the first three prints were to raise money for Maggie's Cancer Centre. Um, in 2015, my father had passed away from cancer and then his best friend the following year. And the Maggie Centre was a, a huge support to my family and myself and uh, it just seemed like a way of raising money w without doing something sponsored, able to give something to people that they can put up in their home and know that it went somewhere good, but they also get something that reminds them that, that they can maybe do that themselves, I guess. Grant um, that sort of set up the charity with his brother obviously in memory of his brother Scott um, and yeah so Grant's quite a close friend and just sort of seemed like a perfect fit and mental health is an issue that's close to sort of all of our hearts, a lot of family and close friends of um, you know I mean all of us have probably had rough times at some point um, so I think we knew we wanted it to be a mental health charity we just weren't sure what one and then um, having spoke to Grant and you know Having been close to him and having seen the year that he's been through recently, it was just, it, it was, I didn't really think too much about it, to be honest. It was just, yeah. it just seemed an obvious fit. Because we'd chosen Tiny Changes as the charity, mm -hmm. we sort of looked at like what they stand for and tried to pick out like key things that could form the basis of what we were designing, so it wasn't just all coming from nowhere. From there we sort of established keywords um, like moving, so you know, exercise, getting outdoors, breathing, <laughs> talking and sort of sharing um, and these we thought actually were quite appropriate, um, especially to a younger audience. And we then associated maybe a colour with each of these words and then we started playing around with shapes and we were like how could you maybe define these different words through a different shape. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how can something stand for, how can something look like movement? Yeah. How could so, something look like breath? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's breathe. This is breathe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are pretty special prints. I think we're at the last check, we're just short of three and a half thousand raised across uh, all um, six charities that we have, which is kind of nuts. So, I mean, that means there's 350 prints sold and uh, there's 350 prints on people's walls. 